Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. My name is Lingbarker and I just killed the squirrel. Yeah, he was on a rampage. But as you can see, uh, last episode, <laughs> it, well, it went really bad. So uh, we are actually just right now trying to survive by putting out fire. Oh, it's raining. Be good. We are actually saved. Oh god. I am actually pretty good. glad that happened. Oh god, burn. That's not good. Well, I'm glad it started to rain, really. This really <laughs> made everything good. Wow. Oh, I'm really happy now. I've actually saved my town. Or base, or whatever. Okay, so anyway. We are just trying to rebuild it again after this assault from pirates, bandits, whatever you want to call it. And, well, so far so good. Just burned down and destroyed my turret. But thankfully, defenses are easier to uh, build, get up again than dead people. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm, I'm building sandbags. To, uh, it actually works as a cover. You can shoot over it. And it's working quite good as a cover compared to just standing in the open. Which is really good. I'm really happy about that. But, as you can see now, uh, I need to rebuild, I need steel, I need power, I need, well, everything is going south right now. But that's pretty much the basic thing that's happening here in uh, this town, or this game. As I said earlier, I have been playing this a lot earlier, but this is a whole new game. Uh, uh, oh! I'm making for you guys so you can see how it is so what about if you just you know it's not a firefighter oh sh sh okay so Nelly is the only one who can extinguish fire uh, we really need to extinguish it come on it's in a stockpile we need to stop it that's a good girl Oh, uh, Mr. Spilitis destroyed my crops, so everything went south. So this is a day and or an episode that just went fully south. So what we just need to do now is just to recover from the whole shit. Uh, okay, let's see. And repairing. We need more people to repair. Mm, that seems good. Okay. Yeah, okay, so uh, Clovis is done, well not done researching, but he's doing his business. Uh, we need to put the power up again because the refrigerator room is down. It's bloody hell, it's 22 degrees in there, as you can see uh, at the bottom here. Hmm, yeah, we need to put up this power quickly. Yeah. Where's the construct? Is it? Isn't everyone constructing? Oh yeah, focus on that. Yeah, that's okay. Well, the power is doing good. And really... Oh, right! The Orbital Trade Beacon. I totally forgot about that one. Huh. Okay, so... Oh, right, so you don't want to... If it Turn it off non medical. Oh yeah, okay. So sometimes it acts really strange because you you get, capture people that is hurt, and sometimes it's really good to just put it on medical and uh, prison bed because that makes the doctor focus on that guy. And sometimes he just like ignores that when he's done, and he just like he can't sleep in that bed because it's just for hospital. It's like just for medical. So I need to watch out about that. But right now, yeah, you're doing good, and you're actually starving, Mr. Warden. Yeah, what about you? Just feed or yeah, don't feed yourself. Feed a prisoner. I know it's like it's a prisoner, but yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a good boy. 
Okay, what about you st storming now? And okay, there we go. Starvation. Okay, so it's doing good. Oh, there's a pure pirate band and con okay. So, so where are you from? That's the owners of cruelty. Well, you sound nice. Okay, so what I actually need now is someone to repair, but I don't want to repair. And why is that? Is it because I have the priorities too low? And what else do we need? Because we need, well, we need some sort of, uh, well, we need things to actually be able to trade stuff. What if I, yeah, let's make a sculptor's table so they can make some sculptures. The thing is about this sculpture, the, the update now, is that they have, now, it's telling a story about what happened. That means pretty much uh, everything that's happening happening here now can actually be written in a sculpture, which I'm kind of interested in. I really want to see if that, how the story is. We can see that sooner, soon enough, hopefully. Is that, is that even under a roof? I just want to see if that. Let's see. Uh, zone. Yeah, it's in, it must be in a in a roof, under a roof, in a roof. Well, wow. okay. So let's see. Yeah, we're peering. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So we're doing decent. One of the problem we have is that we don't have enough steel. But I think I saw. Yeah, there it is. I think I saw some more s steel uh, vines and one over there as well. So I really want to focus on trying to get who the hell puked. That's well, puke, isn't it? Did you do it? Food poisoning. <laughs> okay, that's new as well. Food po poisoning is the things you can get if the chef is really bad. And my chef is actually seven. Yeah. So the thing is about the cooking is it needs to uh, the better the chef is the better the taste of course but the, it is also the better the knowledge of what you're making so that means it's a uh, lot of charms you can poison someone if you ha have a high skill in it of course uh, so this means it's even more survival right now thanks to that hmm. Okay. Anyway, so I'm actually getting quite clueless on well, we need the steel to make the sculpture table because I really want to try and make that. What aren't you doing anything, Clovis? Let's see. Those three are uh, secondary. I'm trying to recruit that guy, girl. Why? Mm. Yeah, okay. A group of travelers from Choco Minoka. Okay, so. And this one is getting done. That's good. Let's just clean up this place and see. Research screen. Okay, so now hydrophonics is done, so that means I can start making some food. No, uh, yeah. Uh, vegetables inside that's good <sighs> what should we choose let's try brewing and let's try to make a sculpture let's see uh, let's just make a small one um, yeah whatever and um, who is the artist or is it crafting? I can't remember. 
yeah it's probably art okay four three four okay so you might as well just do that I also need to make another room because I can see that one guy is just sleeping on the ground that's not good so thankfully I got as you can see here the whole lot here is a nice place for me to expand my uh, colony if you want to call it that uh, to expand my buildings to have more rooms and uh, sooner or later make a farm inside so we can survive in the winter because it's still July but 12 days in each month so it's gonna be August pretty soon oh shut up I got no time for you right now uh, I'm just hoping I can get a trader coming by soon so I can actually can do something about this let's see uh, I want to make this art right now so can you do that right now uh, Nelly place can you just go and no what about now yeah there we go okay so now she is making a small sculpture of wood and that might be somewhere where some way to tell us the story of what happened the last days here now to see if there's something interesting they want to say and uh, well the food is decent uh, we could get some more food we need some more meat and so on but uh, let's see let's just turn it down a little bit so it's stuck on freezing yeah there we go okay Nelly I'm kind of curious on what this is let's see just hundred and yeah hundred work left I need stock here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's just make a, a standing lamp right next to here, so it's more easy to see for them. Okay, thirty and there we go. Okay, so she's carrying it to this place. Okay, also Nelson Nelly Ramos, quality shoddy, of course, because she's bad at it. Title: A devastated death oh hey okay this piece represents Nelson Nelly Ramos trying to proceed shot here in hands with professional efficiency on uh, July 5 5500 proceed yeah that's the, the prisoner proceed lo looks resigned to her fate the overall composition is, is square the scene seems to take place on the outskirts of a municipality Tying proceeds or how's it professional? Okay, so should, okay, so it tells us pretty much about how we captured this prisoner. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's just put it in this corner. I just actually want to make another one now to see if there's uh, even more story about, behind it. Well, that will be in the next episode as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you really enjoyed this uh, series I'm doing. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.